leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Purdue to kick this one off. Number 23 and number 83, deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 91, fields it to 39, and we'll take a break while the injured players attended to. They'll start this drive at the 44-yard line. We've got a first and 10. There are seven defensive backs on the field in this defense. He's looking. Oh, he had a shot at the pitch. Not a great throw by the quarterback. I don't know who he was throwing that one to. <laughs> I know. I think the intended receiver was the safety. <laughs> it's second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Purdue. Lines up in a dime defense here. He drops back. Fires across the middle. He's still moving. And down he goes. At the 38. There's an injured player, and we'll try to find out who it is. The Falcons call a timeout, and they've got two remaining. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38. Bowling Green lines up in a shotgun set. Looks to pass. Throws off balance. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Number 86 was the intended target on the play. So that'll make it second down. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. The Falcons line up in the shotgun. Five wide receivers are split out. He's looking to pass. Once and all, going deep. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. That could have easily been a turnover. Yeah, I don't even think the quarterback even saw that guy. Well, he almost saw him running the other direction with the football. We've got third and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Number 17 lines up in the shotgun. He's got four receivers in the formation. He drops back, surveys the field. Down the middle. Batted away. How about that play, Coach? Kirk, that's exactly how you teach a player to defend the pass. Do anything possible to disrupt the play. You don't necessarily have to make the interception to make a big play on defense. That's very true. Now they'll have a fourth down situation. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. The kick is away. It's long enough. No good. He pushed it to the right. Not a lot of success on that kick. The crowd is going nuts, Kirk. It's not easy to kick in someone else's stadium. Yeah, you need ice water running through your veins to be a good kicker on the road, but it's part of the game. You've got to be able to make those kicks. Let's see if the quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. They hand it off. And he's taken down at the 42. We've played a half of football here, and our score is the Boilermakers, 17, the Falcons, 7. We are set to start the second half. Both teams are on the field, and we're ready to go. He sends it off. From the seven. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 30. First and 10. The Boilermakers come out with a single back formation. There's a play fake. He's in trouble. They got it. 
It looked like they caught the quarterback by surprise. Well, that's a great call by the defensive coordinator. They send him off the corner, and he just uses his speed to get the sack. This defense uses a very good blitzing scheme. It's easy to see why they are usually so successful. Second down and 17 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. It's the tailback. Tackle made right around the 26-yard line. A pickup of four on the play. On the play. Third and 13. Ball on the 26. The Boilermakers set up in the gun. Set. Looking to throw. Surveys the field. The junior makes the catch. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. And that's three and out. And if you're the defensive coordinator, you deserve a pat on the back. Outstanding pressure here on the quarterback. They sent every one of those linebackers, and even though they couldn't get to the quarterback, they were able to prevent the first down. Number 11 punts it away, and this one's got some distance. From the 15, reverses his field. Brought down at the 31. A good return there, guys. I'll tell you, the blocking was tremendous on that play. You're absolutely right. He made some good moves, but the blocking was solid. They'll start at the 31-yard line. First and 10, Bowling Green. Comes out in the shotgun. Play action. Now he's scrambling. Falling back as he throws. And he threw that ball in there nicely. Did you see that, Coach? Yes, I did, Brad. And that was a good pass and a very good game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46. Number 17, lines up in the gun. He's got three receivers in the formation. Lucky 94. Lucky 94. Bowling Green, changing their play. He drops back. Looks, throws it on the run. Number 25 with the interception. He can scoop. The 10. Touchdown! And just like that, they make it a two-possession game. They really took the pressure off themselves there. That was a great return for a touchdown, and it gives them some breathing room on defense. Yeah, this offense has a lot of work to do now. They're really going to have to fight to get back in this ball game. He makes the PAT. Number 11 looks ready to kick this one off. Short kickoff. Number 91. Fields it for 39. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I would be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Bowling Green. Lines up with three receivers. He looks and flings it. It's broken up. That one looked pretty low from the start. Yeah, and Kirk will tell you, you got to have some air under those passes. Right, partner? Ah, coach, you're actually listening to me. 
They line up at the 44. It's second down. Number 17 lines up in the shotgun. Nice play fake. Hooks. And they got him. And they got him with a blitz. Yeah, that time the pressure came from the safety position. Nobody picked him up, but he came up with a big time play. I think they sent eight guys on that blitz. So as a quarterback, if you don't get the ball away quickly, then you're in real trouble. Let's see how the defense handles the no huddle. The offense calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. Bowling Green comes out of the shotgun. Back to pass. Surveys the field. He's on the run. The junior makes the catch. A decent gain on the pass. Yo, Kirk, good job by the quarterback here reading this play. Yeah, the defense came with a blitz, and you're right. Great job by this young quarterback of recognizing the coverage and spotting the open man. First and ten. Number 17 lines up in the shotgun. Fakes to the back. Steps up. And it's going the other way. Number two loses it. It's recovered. They narrowly escape there. It was close, but he recovers a fumble for his team and avoids a turnover. They're inside the five. Ball on the three. They line up in the shotgun. Three wide. Here's the give. Tackle at the one-yard line. Number 33 gets around three on the halfback draw. Come on, he's just a skinny little cornerback. you got to be able to break that tackle and get some yardage. They line up a few feet from the goal line. It's second down. Number 17 is lined up under center. Touchdown, Bowling Green. And they just overpowered him on that one. The quarterback did a nice job of finding the end zone there. So the kicker's on the field to attempt the extra point. And he hits the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And this one's away. Fielded at the nine. Brought down at the 34-yard line. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. First down, 10 yards to go. Number 12 steps to the line of scrimmage. Single back backfield. They hand it off. And down he goes. Right around the 42-yard line. Number 33 gains around 8 yards on the run. It's second down and two to go. Purdue lines up in a shotgun set. Off balance throw. Caught. Down the sideline. The 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. Guys, how fast is this kid? Well, it's pretty simple. You can see it right there. Nobody on the field can stay with him. This field, I don't think anybody in the country can keep up with this guy. He's out there playing. Catch me if you can. They line up for the point after. And he converts the extra point. Purdue is ready to kick it away. He kicks off. Number 91. Fields at the 41. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. And this offense needs to continue to produce on the scoreboard because they're still losing this game. They'll set up shop at the 49. First down, 10 to go. They'll work from the shotgun. Looks to pass. He looks. It's complete. Complete, and he's brought down. Good job to avoid the rush and get the pass off. Well, when you're trying to get to the quarterback with the blitz, you better have some talented corners because they could end up on an island out there all alone. From the 28-yard line, first down. Bowling Green comes out in the shotgun. 
They'll throw on first down. He rifles it to the left. Complete. What a play, and that is first and goal. That looked like the same play they ran just a moment ago, guys. You're exactly right. In fact, that was the same play as the one before. Yeah, and the reason for that is they feel they have a defensive mismatch out there. First and goal. Ball on the four. Purdue brings in their prevent defense. There are seven DBs out there. 